Alright ladies and gentlemen, so some headlines and reports have come out about this woman on TikTok, right? Allegedly she's a big Kim Kardashian Skims fan or whatever, and she averages about 5,000 to 10,000 views a TikTok. This TikTok has gone viral with 4.2 million views, calling out Kim. Okay, I think I'm in a fight with Skims and I'm not sure how this happened. I mean, I know how it happened, I just wish it hadn't happened. I'm a loyal Skims customer. I order at least twice a month. It's my cross to bear. Yes, they do sometimes send me PR and editor gifts, but I don't care when I like something, I'm gonna buy it myself. Last week, I bought the fleece corset before it sold out and the sweatpants and the shimmer um, soft lounge slip dress. And when I got my package, it was someone else's package. Shout out Laura from Portugal, whoever you are, I have your package. Obviously these things happen, so I let Skims know. I said, can I get my products? And I'll send Laura's package back, or you can give me a label and I'll send it to her in Portugal. Mind you, I have all of her personal information because of this order, so I can only assume either Laura in Portugal or someone else has all of my personal information. I'm not thrilled, but I don't really care as long as I get my money or my product. So Skim says, no, we can't send you the products. They sold out. Um, what? If you want something that's sold out, next time you should set an alarm and try and shop the drop before it sells out, um, which is what I did. That's that's how I had originally placed my order. I literally set an alarm and ordered it in the middle of the New York Marathon. So that kind of pissed me off, but I asked when I could get my return then since I didn't get the clothes, and they said I could only get my return if I do them a favor, a courtesy return, and send back Laura's package first. And then maybe, just maybe, they'll give me my $250. So they keep calling it a courtesy return, but I'm trying to figure out why I'm supposed to be courteous when they're not being courteous to me and refunding me for the products that I bought that they've confirmed they are not sending me. According to the FTC, you are not required to send back a package that you did not order. It's technically a gift. But the thing is, I don't want Laura's order. I want to give it to her or give it back to them. But I feel like I shouldn't have to go out of my way to pay to print a return label until they give me my $250 refund. Am I right? That is a... Dub situation to be in. So they're like, okay, we might, we just maybe might do you a small favor if you do exactly as we tell you. Yeah, that's a dub situation, girl. <laughs> oh no, Kim, you gotta step in. All right, I understand that Kim is like the CEO of Skims or whatever, but obviously Skims and its team and its management is ran by other people or whatever who does the orders, but Kim, you gotta step in here, girl. Like, damn. Anyways, tell me what you guys think of this.